Hello, collective. Welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. For so for a young lady out there, you need to be careful because there's someone coming towards you that has been paid to come towards you as either like a twin flame or a higher level soulmate. But this is not someone you have a contract with. Uh, this will also be someone that's paying for some type of law spell. Uh, they have some type of assistance. Um, from either a, an organization or someone behind them that is paying for some type of love spell uh, so that when they come towards you, you'll fall in love with them. And they're doing this so that your actual partner, your soulmate, does not end up coming towards you or that by the time he takes action to come towards you, you'll be in a connection with someone else. Um, and they are really trying to uh, coerce, I don't know what this is, encourage this false twin flame to come towards you so that he can uh, have you caught up in some type of situation that you have no business being in. Uh, so this is like someone coming in and putting it on real thick on you, pretending to be in love with you and everything. You end up getting in a serious relationship with them, serious relationship with them. Um, God forbid you end up pregnant and then they just drop you and move on with their life because first of all, they never had any type of genuine intentions for you. Um, but there's some type of love spell taking place. Someone is paying for you to fall in love with them. Also for another person, there's a man that is not sure how you feel about him. Um, so I don't know if it's like he's in love with you or wants to be with you or something like that. So he's doing some type of love spell behind the scenes as well. So that you can have feelings for him. The thing people don't understand about love spells is that if the person does not like you initially, the love spell is just going to make that dislike um, or that lack of regard for you or consideration for you even worse. So they will go from not liking you to maybe being repulsed at you. Um, the only people love spell work on are people that are like in their lower energy and are not awakened to who they are. So it's easier to do work on those kind of people. But whoever I picked up on that they're doing these love spells on, this is someone that is self-mastered. This is someone that is very confident within themselves. This is not someone that you can just walk into their energy they look into your eyes and then all of a sudden they're in love with you certain people it don't work that way okay uh so just be on the lookout for there there's a some type of manipulation going on behind the scenes um uh, for a man to come into your life just so he can uh break your heart keep you trapped so that you don't connect with whoever you are actually supposed to be with okay uh, let's go ahead and get into our tarot reading. We have someone that may be letting go of a contract or letting go of a position because they have clarity about a queen of wands. Maybe this is a queen of wands in the reverse that has been paying people to do something to a queen of cups. So a queen of wands reverse basically will be out here paying a king of swords to do a king of, a queen of cups something. So it may be to take you out or to block your finances, block your work or something like that. Or maybe someone is letting go of doing this because they know the odds are against them or something like that. Um, so there's a queen of wands behind the scenes that has been very determined to put herself out there as something that she is not. And we've been picking up on this woman for quite a long time. There's something where she's been either bribing people um, to to block your work, block your forward movement, block your exposure because someone does not want you be, be being seen. Uh, and someone has been manipulating a kink of source behind the scenes and I don't know how or where he is to make something look like what it is not. And he may be realizing the truth that this woman is really just manipulating. I'm telling you, she's just manipulating him um, and he may end up moving on or letting go of this collaboration with her because something is getting a little bit too much to bear. Um, but basically, it's a queen of queen of wands um out here doing a lot of manipulations bribing people or paying people she causes some type of donation like she's giving money to people making it seem like it's some type of friendship or it's just like a gift or something so when she gives you this amount of money she's making it seem like she's giving you a gift but really it's bribery and maybe this king of swords didn't know that initially and now he's finding out that she was really bribing him 
to do something to a queen of cups that she is uh, jealous of. She may not want this queen of cups to connect with a king of wands that is interested in working with her or something like that. This woman wants some type of position, yeah. But the position she wants or whatever it is that she wants is actually going to a queen of cups. That would be you, divine feminine. Uh, there's a masculine that wants to work with you, wants to help you build some type of ten of pentacles, wants to invest in something that you are working for or working towards. So this woman is losing a position. She losing some type of commitment or contract within an institution or with a masculine because he has clarity about what it is she's been doing out here. She can't pretend anymore. It's like basically someone being exposed like the cat is out of the bag. So it's the end for this woman going through her tower, maybe um arguing with a lot of people or there's some type of chaos going on within the community because of actions they took to pay someone to block your growth right they may have stopped some type of communication from coming towards you as well and this communication had to do with your ten of pentacles uh something is being looked into as well uh so there's some type of internal investigation going on or someone is just choosing to look into something because they're starting to catch on to all of the manipulative tactics that have been going on but this queen of wands is basically losing everything whatever she was trying to hide as far as her hands these are people that throw rocks and hide their hands um everything is being exposed to this masculine or to an organization and this may be why there's a lot of arguing and fighting and conflict going on behind the scenes someone has been in competition with you this is basically someone trying to pretend or prove that they're better than you because they have some type of degree to their name, but they don't have the skills that they need to execute some type of uh, job position or something of that nature. They don't have the uh, personality or the essence or anything like that to, to carry out some type of position that they are very much uh, determined to have, even though it's for the wrong reasons. So someone wants to be seen as the better options than you option than you so she's been bribing or working with a kink of source behind the scenes to do you something basically hide your exposure trap you uh manipulate your path manipulate your work manipulate your energy and this woman is burdened because she's still being left out in the cold you are still being seen and considered for this collaboration this union this coming together whatever this is and you will be moving forward in victory and in confidence as well um so there's something where it's like this woman is really pissed off because there's something like she has invested a lot of time into whatever this is like she has put in a lot of time to have someone see her as being skilled being talented being someone that's genuine to have someone choose her uh have her be the option and the one and only option for him but he's finding the strength to look into something like he's listening to his intuition going within to see the truth about this woman and what he's finding out is that someone is false this is someone that just pretends to be what it is that she is not someone may have went and sought some type of professional advice from a practitioner or maybe a lawyer or uh, it could be a spiritual advisor, something of that nature. But he's he found out the truth about this woman. He has clarity about how she's been paying people out here to put you to rest, put your work to rest, put your investments to work to rest. So this woman has been doing quite a lot. And it's that she can't even hide this stuff anymore. Someone may be walking around embarrassed, but she's not embarrassed enough to stop doing something. She wants to keep going with it. Someone may end up falling sick. Um, but she does not care about any of that. She thinks that she's securing her future when in reality, she's really destroying her future. But someone is very burdened and trying to figure out how she can stop you. This is someone that has been self-sabotaging for their entire life, um, been collaborating with a group of people behind the scenes um, and things like that. What this woman is very devastated by is that she puts in all this energy and then nothing comes out of it. It's like I've paid all these people. I've bribed all these people to make them think they were friends or something they really think i'm taking money out of my account to give to them as a gift or something but it's not a gift it's a bribery so what she's feeling is that i've collaborated with all of these people i've paid them i've manipulated them i've committed crimes and things like that just to get things to go in my favor and you're telling me things are still not going in my favor so she says she's going out with a bank and this is going to be the bank that undoes her one once and for all someone may have been even sleeping with someone in the court system 
system to uh, make something go in her favor. This has to do with you being seen. Like someone does not want you being, being seen. She wants you hidden. She wants people playing with your finances, people confused, not knowing what it is to do. But there's a decision a king of pentacles is making and it's not, it's, it probably is not going in her favor with the fact that he has clarity now about what she's been doing out here. You may be repulsed by something this woman has doing because whoever this king of pentacles is could be someone that's very... Um, uh, uh, there's someone else that is someone of high standard, someone that operates on morals, someone that operates on ethics and principles and things of that nature. Uh, so he may be looking at her real funny right now. Is I can't believe you would do something like this. Why would you do something like that? Um, basically she has kind of broken his trust. This could be something where she's also been stealing from this man and hiding it. And now he's starting to find out the truth and someone may end up in some type of court case um, because of her actions like stealing from this man probably for a long time trying to make something go in her favor so i don't know if she already got in a position uh previously and was misusing their position abusing their position or something like that and now it's been taken away from her because she was misusing the finances um in that position maybe she had access to someone's money access to someone's business account and she got kind of carried away and just started taking money out of there to bribe people but she and again because this six of pentacles the six of pentacles has to do with generosity uh someone that that the volunteers uh like a philanthropist and things like that so what she's trying to make it seem is that when she's giving these people like this king of source money she's making it seem like she's doing him a favor she's giving him a gift she's uh donating or something like that like she's looking out for a friend whether it's old or new or it's just some type of partnership she's forming and say oh uh, here, I, I, I want to bless you with $20,000. And then after he receives or takes that $20,000, is that she comes back sometime later to say, I was wondering if you would do me a favor. Um, you know, there's somebody that, um, I need taking care of. They're causing me a lot of problems and I really need you to, you know, block them for me so that it can stop causing problems in my marriage or in my institution, in my position, or it's really imperative that I get this position because my son is sick. My daughter is is sick the whole time you have family that you're taking care of and she doesn't care either about them but she's trying to make sure her kid is taken care of it does not make sense they say you're taking out of one family's mouth to put in your mouth but you don't realize at the end you and your family is about to have nothing in their mouths so it's something like that it's that she doesn't mind sabotaging an entire family just to make sure she's good and whoever her, her kid is because i think this may be someone that has a kid or if they don't this is just someone that's looking out for themselves at the end of the day. This is a cold-blooded uh, narcissist. This is someone that likes that empathy gene that people have. Like, it's not there. You can't, like, you cannot reason with this kind of person. It's impossible to reason with her because that empathy gene, she doesn't have it. Okay, uh, so they ne so people like that, they never see the wrong in what it is they're doing. They never see mistakes or nothing. All they know is I'm doing this to make sure that I'm okay. I can keep living this good and comfortable life. I don't care who it offends. I don't care who's, who, who's, like she doesn't care is what I'm trying to say. This woman does not care. Okay, she does not care. All she cares about is doing whatever she got to do to get whatever it is that she wants okay and it's the end for her like someone is losing everything and i mean everything everything i mean the house the cars the job position the relationship everything this is someone very reckless very impulsive um may want to come towards you to give you a piece of her mind probably not the best thing to do like someone has been setting up some type of situation like a scenario to put you in a really uncomfortable position just so something can go in her favor she can be seen as the better option okay so she's been compromising you competing with you and you may not even know who this person is um but everything is backfiring um because it's not something whatever she's trying to get is not something that's meant for her it's not part of her soul contract it's not part of her contract at all so it's not meant for her uh so she could be bribing someone out here said please go and give her this offer just act like you're in love with her um you know just uh, uh just you know this is how she this is what she likes in men uh, she because she, she's, this woman like she thinks she has studied someone well enough to know what it is that they want what it is that they like 
Okay, what, what they will put up with, what they won't put up with. They said, make sure you don't say this, don't mention this. Make sure you don't do this, don't do that. But it said, whoever they're sending, like, this is someone you're going to see right at hello. And you just know they're not your kind, they're not your type. You don't want nothing to do with this person. So it says she's wasting her time giving this man money. It's a, it's a waste of time. Like, she's wasting her time paying everybody else. Because at the end of the day, something is still going to play out like it's supposed to. Destiny is still going to pay, play out like it's supposed to. So I don't even know why this woman has, one, wasted her time, wasted someone's money, her money, um, just committed, created, I mean, just created chaos for herself at the end of the day. So I don't even know what the heck. Like all the collaborations, the line, the deceit, everything is going to backfire on her. And when all is said and done, it's all going to point right to her. It's like she's doing something where it says she does it from behind the scenes. So it seems that like she's not part of it. So this can be like your enemy right in front of you. And the whole time you don't know it's your enemy. For some of you, this could be like, like a boss that this woman is paying. Like this could be your boss that she's paying to do you something. To temper with your, your finances. To temper with your work. To temper with your investments. Your boss could be a king of swords, queen of swords. Uh, this could be like a husband that you're probably not on good terms with. This could be an ex. This could be an estranged father, estranged husband, something like that. But she's gifting gifting him money. <laughs> it's the gift of curse. It's the gift that is cursed. But she's gifting him money to do you something, block your resources, uh, end your finances and things like that. And it's going to backfire because this man is about to end up in some type of limbo he can't get himself out of. <laughs> Ooh. And they're still plotting on doing you something. It's like they've been doing something repeatedly, repeatedly. And this is to discourage you from uh, moving forward with your life, moving forward from with your work. It's like they want you to quit something, quit doing something, but you keep investing in it. It's like they're trying to dismantle your foundation, your security, your commitment to your work, to your life. But you keep investing in yourself. There's clarity. Like everything she's been doing and he's been doing, there's clarity about it. This man does not even, from what I'm seeing, this man does not even want to be partnered up with this woman. Like he does not want to have anything to do with whatever it is that she's doing. Someone could even have feelings for you now. That, that's how crazy it is. Like the enemy went and hired someone to do you something. And maybe they did it for a while. And then the truth got revealed to them. And now they're like, well, I want to work with this person. Like this person is genuine. Like someone is hoping that you can accept some type of offer from them. So he may end up coming to you to talk to you about the truth. about what has really been going on. You see how God works? Like your enemy has turned into your uh, uh your ally because they see value in you they see value in what it is that you do like he sees you as a queen of cups a star seed like someone sees you as like a partner like someone that is beneficial to work with instead of going against so this woman is about to be having a hard time finding Someone to work with her to take you down. It's like people are about to be walking away from her. It said, like, can you, uh, no. Would you, no. Like people want to partner up with you. People see you as very genuine. They're trying to figure out how they can come towards you to talk to you, balance things out with you. So someone is about to be out here alone because she's impulsive and reckless that people are seeing her for who she is. This is someone very jealous Someone very insecure has been doing something to another energy purely out of jealousy. It ain't nothing more than that. You didn't do nothing to this woman. You didn't take from her, lie on her, steal from her, nothing. You didn't offend her, nothing. You know, you you probably don't even know this woman. You don't know they has this half her from nowhere. But she's been out here trying to destroy your life, taking from you, your family, you got kids, you got husband. Whoever to take care of, been taken from you all, don't care. That's why she's about to be left out in the cold by this king of wands. And he don't feel no ways about it. Like someone sees her for exactly who she is. It's that man, you're just insecure as heck. Like someone, if she's not careful, a man may tell her about herself. And when he's done telling her about herself, man, she's going to feel like a piece of crap on the ground. Like someone is, someone has pissed up a man and she doesn't even know it. 
and she's still walking around with a mask on, pretending like everything is okay, and she don't know like someone is on the verge of spazzing out on her. That's how bad it is. Like he he has clarity about her. Clarity. That like that 2020 vision, he has it. He said, God dang it. Man. Someone is walking away. Like that he's walking away from this woman. I'm telling you, walking away from her. I'm telling you, people are wanting to partner up with you, and it has her burden. Whoever else is behind the scenes has been working with her that doesn't want to let go of something, they're all burdened. She's burdened about what she's been investing in. She's burdened because she's paid someone to destroy you and she doesn't know if he's going to do it or not. She said, why is he being nice to her? He may end up not doing what it is I ask him to do. He ain't going to do what you ask him to do. These people are tired of your nonsense. They're seeing exactly why you are doing something. You and the rest of your uh, people that are working with you, the ones that refuse to let go, you're on your own. Because you're accumulating nothing but karma and living in fear. Because you know people know the truth that you tried to steal. May have even stolen from an emperor to block his victory. Causing a lot of illusions to him. A lot of illusions to an emperor. This could be a king of wands that she's been lying to. Right? Because she wants him to stay living in fear about partnering up with someone else. Giving to someone else. Uh, she, does need, she does not uh, fit into this organization. She's not one of us. She'll have a hard time fitting in here. People won't accept her because she's not the right complexion. That That's, that's that kind of person. They guess vain. May have a, a, a degree to their name but don't know. Their, 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 they don't know their, their, their upper end from their lower end. Because what comes out of both is the same thing. S-H-I-T. Nothing good of substance. Nothing but waste. So she's out here worried because she pays someone to do you something. And she don't know if he's going to do it. Because here it is. Everybody, when they see you, they come across you, get to know you. They like you. Say, why do everybody like you? I paid him to take you down. Why is he talking about he, he don't want to do this no more? Because nobody did anything to you. You don't went from an eight of pentacles to a freaking page of pentacles to what the, the nine of swords. And you still want to keep going with something. You're mentally retarded. You're dumb. Nobody, may, maybe no one want to tell you around you, but you're dumb as heck. It's a special kind of stupid. This level of stupidity is not common. It is not common. You're in the eight of pentacles reverse. And you're still trying to figure out how to pay to cause someone burdens. This level of stupidity is not common. It is not common, darling. You're unique. But not in a good way. Like you want to be seen as unique. You like attention. You're unique. But it's not in the kind of way you want it to be. You're unique in the fact that your level of stupidity is unmatched. That's the truth being illuminated to you. Your level of stupidity is unmatched. It's, it's surreal. Like no one is this dumb. You're the only one that's this dumb. To keep going. You don't dismantle your finances, your foundations, and things like that. You're losing a job position, your security, and you're still more focused on paying to cause someone else burdens. It don't make no sense, darling. And that's exactly what someone is seeing about you. Like you're insecure as heck. He don't have no business being affiliated or associated with you or to you. Because it don't make no sense. You don't make no sense. Trying to put an end to people, to someone going for what it is they want in life. This man wants to go partner up with someone. You're telling him, no, don't do that. Don't go, don't, don't go towards her. Like you're trying to do anything and everything to block a wealthy man from giving to someone. You think you can do that? No, girl. When it's time for that person to do what it is they're supposed to do, he's going to do it. You're insecure as heck. That's all he sees about you. The whole community around you, they see you as insecure. You can't fake the funk no more. 
I don't know who 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 the other queen of cups reverse is in your community going through some type of temper tantrum, mad as heck, or something is being balanced out. You all don't got out here and cost someone a whole lot of money, and then someone wants to balance it out to get you all out of trouble, and you don't realize that's what they're doing. But you're out here still trying to keep something going. You're in a lot of hot water. You don't jump out the hot pot into the hot fire. And someone is trying to save your behind because you don't cost other people a whole lot of money for no reason or because you're insecure as heck. Insecure. And you don't know what the heck is going on. Now, I don't know if this wealthy man, this is someone that likes to have options or something like that. And you and the other rock rats that he's been laying with have been gathering up money, some type of donations or something to pay someone to do someone something. He's trying to help you. Because you could end up in jail. Like locked up. And he ain't coming to get you out because he's fed up with you. Oh man. He is fed up with you. Maybe you used to be his favorite. Not anymore. You costing him money. Girl, I, I, I'm going to need you to find your feminine energy somewhere the common sense and use that look at that reverse whatever action you're about to take is going to undo your finances you're about to undo your finances that you're gonna go from being secure you know how you like to be a bougie we we out here acting like you're better than everybody else girl you're about to be so broke it's going to be embarrassing. Like when people see you, they're going to be holding their noses closed tight, their nostrils tight. Because the stench won't make no sense. If you ain't careful, you may end up out here having to uh, prost yourself around for money when by the time all of this is done. You're taking reckless action to dismantle someone's foundation, their security, their life. This queen of pentacles out here, this is a mother. Queen of Pentacles tend to be mothers, wives, and you're out here trying to dismantle her life, her kid's life, whether this is a man, his life, his kid's life, or out of insecurities. You're about to be out here having to sell yourself just to make ends meet. This is how bad it's about to be for you. You don't know it, but keep on going, Jizzy Bell. Keep on going. Mad because a wealthy man wishes to be with someone that's actually genuine. Like, he did, who are you to tell someone who they deserve to be with just because you want him to stay with you because he gives you money? That's your bad girl. He's walking away from you trying to figure out how he can connect with this uh, high priestess here, whoever this is, with a freaking contract so that they can balance things out. These two are going to be meeting, and it ain't nothing you all can do to stop that. Nothing. We don't, they don't, we don't care. The universe said they don't care who you hire, who you put in what location. Hey, Sarah, can you drive down the corner two blocks away from here? Uh, she goes to CVS on Tuesdays. Make sure you're at CVS in case he goes to CVS so you can distract him. Hey, John, make sure you drive down I-60 so that if he's there, that he's not making the right turn to her house or her apartment or her condo. Hey, Peter... The girl, you do you sound do you do you hear how you sound desperate, codependent, unbearable, intolerable. Someone, you know how when a leech gets onto you, and you are trying to figure out how to get that leech off of you. This man is trying to figure out how to get rid of you. Oh, he is trying. You, when you see a leech, you're like, leech, leech, leech. I don't know what what kind of glamour you did on him before that he didn't see that you were a leech, but he's seeing that now. He may be screaming in his head, leech, leech, leech. No one can hear him because he got himself in this hot water with you. But he wants to get rid of the leech. And he's thinking about how he's going to do that. He said, I got to get this leech off of me in this cycle so I can be in something genuine, solid, traditional. An uh, actual contract. God dang it, girl. That man is screaming. Leech! 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 No one can hear him. Because this kind of person, they see him, they say he got money, so he don't got no problems. 
That's how people see wealthy people. When we see, when they see them, when we see y'all, see y'all got money and say, oh, he's a billionaire, he's a millionaire, he don't got no problems. Nah, he got problems. He got a leech. <laughs> he has a leech attached to him. And she's getting him in legal issues to legal problems. Is what I'm hearing. And he don't even know it. Whatever problems you're causing for yourself is going to end up on him too. If he's not careful. Nothing but conflict. Nothing but fighting. I'm telling you, girl, they're getting together. I don't care what you do. They're getting together. They are getting together. Whatever you're about to do is the end of you. It's the end of you. Because you're so dumb and stupid. It don't matter what they tell you. Let go of something. You're still doing it. Don't do that no more. You're still doing it. Because you're so dumb. Dumb, dumb, diddy, 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 dumb. Because you're so set on proving that you're something. How are you trying to prove something to people that already know you're not that? Like a whole community know you're insecure. But you're still out here trying to prove that you're what? You're secure? You're an empress? You're a high priestess? They know you're not. Like you're a clown at this point. The more you try to prove that you're something, the more they're laughing at you behind your back. That she, so I, I just heard someone saying she needs to give it up. Thank you. <laughs> she said she ain't giving it up. She's going to keep going. Let her keep going. It's about to be the end of her. She's about to end herself. Like some, someone's mental, someone's mental is like, I don't know what this is. Like, there's no words to describe how, like, imbalanced someone is. Like, someone does not care about anything, anyone, nothing, just herself. Someone does not even mind using her kid as a reason for why she does the stuff that she does if she has a kid. Oh, you know, I got a sick son. I got a sick daughter. That's why I'm, I'm trying to make sure that he's taken care of. You know, it don't got nothing to do with the kid. It's all her insecurities. That like someone misuses. That's, uh, 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 what is it? Monsaging syndrome or something like that. What is that, uh, 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 disease where it's more so of a mental thing? The mother will try to act like something is wrong with the kid for sympathy. She gets sympathy out of other people. Now, something may be wrong with her kid, but the reason she's using her kid is not for that. It's to get sympathy from people so that they can partake in something that they have no business partaking in, something that is unholy, something that is unorthodox, something that is not based on principle. She's basically playing on people's emotions. It's sad and pathetic as heck. May even be out here seeing someone stole from her. You know, that's my work. She stole my work and she's pretending like she's the one that came up with it. Meanwhile, you don't even know this woman, never seen her a day in your life, something like that. Just pathetic. And that's how people see her, the whole community. They see her as pathetic as heck. Like a clown. If I was you, I wouldn't even want to show my face to this community anymore. Man, I'm having secondhand embarrassment for you. I can only imagine what it's like for you to show up in that company every day and people are looking at you like a clown. Like, dang, how far down the mighty has fallen. And you're trying to come after some, you're like a, a, a moth to a fling. Whoever you're trying to take down, what's a moth to a fling? Come on, I'm telling you, what's a moth to a fling? Whatever connection you have with a king of pentacles is over. <laughs> it stuff don't make no sense. Let me hurry up and get up out of this energy because this woman is getting on my last nerves. Thank you. It's over. The relationship is over, darling. It's over. You don't want from being abundant. I don't know if you two are supposed to get married, whatever. That man don't want nothing to do with you. You don't embarrass someone out here to the point of no return. You don't even know you're embarrassing yourself. You still think that you are in the right. You never was in the right. You never was in the right. You never was competing with anyone for something you were going to get. You're trying to compete with someone for their destiny. It's not yours. You ain't getting it. I'm telling you, it's done. The, the relationship between you 
and that man is done. Uh, if there's a queen of pentacles reversed in a relationship with a king of wands, he don't want to be with you either. He's about to leave you out in the cold. He said this union is over and he's moving on with like someone is trying their best to keep away from you so that they don't spaz out on you. Like you, you, you are, these men find you to be just irritating, annoying. Like you're a bunch of insecure little girls and they're trying to figure out where in the heck their heads have been all these years that they've been putting up with this nonsense. How did they see you all as wish fulfillment? How did they even see you all as options? With how you carry yourself. It's like these men are going through some type of awakening. He said, God dang, that's what I've been with the whole, these three years? For real? God dang. Man. I gotta, I gotta do better. This is a queen of pentacles reversed out here. This woman is reckless. Someone may be like a prostitute, excuse me. Sells herself around for money. Yeah, she does. She does. I don't know if she was worried about you finding that out, but someone does that on the side. If you work with her in the company, she does that with some of the men in their company. Someone may even travel to different locations. One of her clients recently didn't pay her. Like he, they laid together and he didn't pay her. And she may be pissed off about that. And when he didn't pay her, she came to you. I don't know if you lay with her, but I, I feel like you probably left her out in the cold because something just wasn't right when she came to, towards you. You're like, mm, something was not right about her today. Yeah, that's because she was pissed off. She didn't get paid by that client. She didn't get paid by that client. It's crazy. <laughs> it is crazy is a king of king of wands that's afraid to go towards a queen of cups high a woman of high honor because he's afraid she's going to reject him what did you do like if you're coming towards someone you need to be straightforward with them what did you do because this will be the kind of men that come towards genuine women with some type of story to tell but they're not going to tell you what it is they were doing behind the scenes they hinder your movement Someone may have a lot of jealousy and insecurities because he's been dealing with low vibrational energies, insecure women. Women that are emotionally unavailable, just heavily manipulated to get what it is they want out of men. So he's coming towards you now. Is he coming with the truth? Who knows? And then you got a king of swords that's wishing to be what? In a relationship with you. He may be stuck in some type of karmic relationship with someone. But he wants to be. He wants to be with you now. It's like they're all finding the truth out. So it's like oh well I'm going to go shoot my shot. Shoot your shot to who? The woman you've been trying to destroy? Is that how that works? Is that how that works? Like you've been out here accepting bribery from people to block two people from coming together. And now that you have done something to, to cause some type of separation between these two, now you want to come in and give them an offer. Is that how that works? Is that how that works? It's a woman in a community, like a woman of high honor. This woman is pissed off. Because she don't try everything to keep a kink of wands from moving on. Trying to uh, get him to renew some type of contract in a community. That man don't want nothing to do with that. He said it's over. He's done being stuck. He's just done trying to stay safe. Trying to make people happy. Trying to control the, uh, the, 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 the outcome of a situation. Trying not to rock the boat. He's done. He's letting go. He's walking away, trying to figure or balance something out, trying to hold on to the little bit that he has left. That he's letting go, freeing himself. Someone has overworked themselves. Someone feels burdened. Someone has worked really hard to find the truth out. And now that he knows the truth, baby, he ain't staying around. He's done. He is uh, done. What is this nonsense? 
and she is so worried. Like they're worried about you, the divine feminine, the empress. You receiving some type of assistance. You falling in love. You having a family. You uh, being content in life. You having control over something. This could be a business, some type of position or whatever. Like everybody has just been working hard together just to block one feminine energy and someone is going to the uh, to the length to even hire someone to come in and give you an offer. They say, just go in and act like you love her. Just go in and act like you care about her. Because we can't afford for this man of high honor to partner up with her. Because she's going to be telling him the truth. We can't be tricksters anymore. We won't be able to manipulate him anymore and steal from him anymore. If she comes around, we'll be done for. So we need you to put on your best show. It's done. It's a queen of pentacles reverse. You're losing that position. Like you're all losing your jobs, your, your securities, your stabilities. You're losing it. Just like you try to take it from someone else, you're losing it all. And whoever you are trying to take it from, they're about to be elevating in life. I can't. Anyways, folks, thank you for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next week. Goodbye for now.